Hello everybody, I'm Artillery J, and welcome to another First Impressions video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the game Backbone. Uh, this is free to play on the Steam Store. Uh, it is the prologue, so I'm not really sure um, how long the game will be. Uh, let's take a look at the controls. So we've got walk with A and D, uh, shift to run as per usual, uh, crouch is control, E to interact, tab for detective menu, and escape for main menu. Alright, cool. So relatively simple. And this looked like a uh, detective type game. So we got Rocky the raccoon here smoking a cigarette and reading a book in the bathtub. Rocket. Did I say Rocky? I meant Rocket. Sorry, missed your call. Yeah, no problem. 27 on the buzzer. Just enough time to clean up. Okay, so A and D to move and E to interact. Insurance frauds, lost cars, estranged lovers. Should probably get rid of some of these old case files eventually. Use mouse to drag and drop items. Some items can be picked up by pressing E. John D. Insurance Fraud. O. Green. 4 p.m. It's not letting me drag and drop anything, though. Hmm. Wonder if there was a uh, item that I missed there. Media sets. This damn thing stopped working a long time ago. Gotta have Frankie up next time I'm in Fuzzdale and when I have cash. So never. Call mom, buy soap, pay bills, don't die. Leaving, leaving developers in the kitchen is a sure road to poisoning or a great soup. Or do you get tired of this view? I'll watch these later. Probably not. The Great Apes, The Great Story. Small toilet read. Better leave it here. Wonder what these old weather stones would say if they could talk. Howie, I grew a new vine today. Do you like it? Apes, I could use a quick smoke outside. So there's more to read in, on the books, too. Elliot Graham said it best, enlightening account on the last beacon of civilization is masterful architects, essential. Among many great stories, the great story stands out as the gripping yet edifying tale of our tenacious leaders and their crusade to usher in an era of prosperity for the city and its citizens. Alright, so that was it for that. Didn't realize that there was more to interact with there, so... Got more here. Place chemicals. Everything knows its proper place. <laughs> that must be Mrs. Green. Maybe. Oh, yep, it is. Excuse me, I'm looking for Detective Loda. We spoke on the phone. I gather you have a case for me, Miss Green. At your service, Miss Green. Trust you've had a pleasant day. Miss Green, can I help you? You were vague when we spoke before. Please, just audit is fine. And I'd rather be discreet with this matter, that's all. 
Noted. What are we dealing with? The information I gather from clients is strictly confidential, I assure you. Any particular reason for said discretion? It's always pleasant to deal with a professional. So what's the matter at hand? Or is there any particular reason for your concern? Nothing of importance, really. All right, then let's move on. How can I help you today? If there is any reason to be particularly discreet, I need to know anything pertinent to the case. If you must know, the less people know I'm hiring a grubber, the better. That's a charming way to put it, or agreed, but most clients don't take such precautions, so I found your concern worth questioning. Well, additionally, since I am hiring you to follow my husband, I prefer to err on the side of caution. If he knew, he wouldn't be pleased, to say the least. Alright, uh, let's back up a little. Interviews can be stressful. How was your day, Audet? Or, I see, let's move on to the case then. What's the matter? I've had better, I've had worse. Truthfully, my back's killing me today. Pregnancies are rough on the spine, let me tell you. And please, Audet is fine. This is your first. Audet, how can I help you today? You didn't say much when we spoke before. Try to keep it uh, pleasant and... Uh, Kind of the small talk or whatever. Show that I'm interested in uh, speaking with her. Third, my oldest, Daisy, will be seven soon, and Elliot just turned three. They must be a handful. Yeah. They can be, but mostly the sweet kids. All kinds of helpful. They're my silver lining. What do you mean by helpful? What do you mean by silver lining? Uh, I'm going to prod a little bit more oh daisy is so good with elliot she'll keep she'll keep calm him when he fusses when he's fussy and they're both such listeners whatever uh that's sweet but anyway how can i help you today on that i um well i understand this sort of thing is routine in your line of work it's about my husband you see is he missing what's the matter do you suspect he's cheating what's the matter I don't want to assume anything. He hasn't been himself lately, getting home at odd hours, and every time I try to talk about it, he gets... But no matter. It's just embarrassing to admit. You suspect he's cheating on you? Hold up, what's happened when you've tried to talk to him? He gets difficult. It's like everything's still somehow my fault, and he's... But I'm sorry. Is this relevant? What I need to know is if you can get proof. Something that'll hold up in court. I know these questions feel invasive, but I'll need to know. Court, are you filing for a divorce? If he's indeed having an affair, I can get you what you want. Understood. I'll need a picture and some information about his routine. Of course, anything you need. What would you like to know? Where can I find him usually? What does he look like? Have you met any of his friends? What's his full name? Where does he work? Let's uh, find out what he looks like first. Here's a photo. He's an otter, of course. A bit shorter than you and kind of chunky. He wears glasses. The square kind. And his wedding band, as far as I know. Oh, and he carries a black briefcase to and from work. Uh, where can I find him usually? What's his full name? Jeremy Green. I think people at work call him Jazz for short. And where does he work? At the... Wolf Bank in Granville. I can write the address down for you. Thanks. Appreciate it. Uh, where can I find him usually? Well, supposedly he goes to work and then he comes home, but I know sometimes he goes somewhere else after work. Occasionally before. Now it's become more frequent. Hold up. How do you know he goes somewhere else after work? He hasn't been hiding well. His behavior is all abnormal. He gets home late, misses work, lies, and smells funny. Hmm. Like perfume, not mine. Alcohol, smoke, and something else I can't pinpoint. But it's pu pungent. A kind of herbal stink. Um, apes, I feel so ashamed. He's going to get terminated if he continues like this. I've, got, I've gotten calls. At first they wondered if he was homesick. I lied for him a couple of times too. 
Maybe maybe he's going to get a massage. Maybe he's got a bad back. One last thing. Let's talk case details. I need a picture and information about his routine. Already got that. All right, that's good stuff. Now let's talk about your husband's personal details. And you've caught him lying. At what time does he get home when he's late? Way past work hours. Unreasonably so. And drunk. One time I stayed up and asked what he was doing. It didn't go well. Hold up. Has he been aggressive? One last thing. Let's talk about the case details. All right, that's good stuff. And you've caught him lying. I really don't think that's... I really don't think it's relevant, Mr. Loda. And I'd rather move on. Um... Of course, anything you need. What would you like to know? I haven't met them, but he mentions some guys from time to time. Sometimes he hangs out with them after work. Anyway, I'd be able to pick him out of a crowd. Well, I lay his clothes out for him every morning. He has to wear a suit to work. I picked out his green tie and hat for him today. I can give you a hundred now and. 50 when you're done. Would that be enough? Yes, plus any unexpected expenses during the investigation. I got a lot riding on this, and I only get one shot. Funds are limited, you know. What assurance can you make that you're the right man for the job? Good at what I do. I bet my tail you're here because someone recommended me. You're not wrong, but that's just one case I know. You've helped sort. Are there others? That's not very reassuring. I'm good at what I do, I'm dead. If I wasn't, blah, blah, blah. I hope so. It's very important you don't get caught. Do you understand? Of course, I'll get right on and I'll dead. Talk soon. All right, so I'm going to investigate this husband. Press tab to access detective menu. Okay. There's a photo, a picture of Audette's husband. Doesn't really strike you like a sleazy skirt chaser. Doesn't seem handsome enough. Maybe he's funny. Okay. Find Jeremy Green and evidence of infidelity. He works at the Wolf Bank in Granville. It's a good place to start. So let's go ahead and move on out. Gransville smells like wet concrete, overpriced fast food, and puke. My kind of battleground. Hey, what's up, old man? Just hanging. What are you doing? From my hanging to yours. Peace, bro. Nah, man. Sorry. What are you? Some sort, some sort of pervert? I mean, I just came out of a detective. Never mind. Never mind. It's cool. Furman. One slick silver-tongued devil of a mountain lion. When I go, when I go crazy and kill someone, I hope he can af I can afford him. Posters, the Great Ape, the Great Story documentary, a story of order, a story of courage, a story of justice. This has been running for a year now. The day I bought a bike, the life of a young handsome ape turns to shambles when he crosses paths with a dangerous man, and he does it on a on his bike didn't know this was out one of my favorite filmmakers Johnny and John don't drive two retired taxi drivers meet next to their childhood home and Johnny doesn't know that John is dying they're rebooting this ape forgotten franchise what a waste all right so uh, that's all I'm gonna play of this for now I uh, just wanted to kind of take a look at it and uh, get a first impression of it um, so it's like a detective story uh, you gather clues um, track down people stuff like that and uh, yeah looks like a lot of investigative stuff which is just right up my alley uh, I really like the LA Noir 
uh, game and uh, games like that where you kind of got to put on your detective hat and uh, find clues and solve cases. So a lot of fun for me. Uh, be sure to check out the official review tomorrow on jaysgamereviews.com, my uh, review site that I uh, operate. And uh, check out some of the other reviews while you're there. Uh, the review for this game will be up again tomorrow, which will be Friday uh, the 17th, I think. Yeah, Friday the 17th, it should be. Um, so be sure to check out the review there and get my official review. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, take care of yourselves. Bye! Hey, what's up? Thanks for watching.